guys it's Shams here and today I'm doing a review on Phoenix RC Simulator version 5.0 uh, the latest version at the minute and which I am running is version 5.0 J and since uh, version 5 came out there has been constant updates day after day from A to J and uh, there's probably when you're watching this video now there will be a later version so uh, but 5.0 J at the minute is the latest so I'm going to go through the simulator then all the new features with uh, version 5.0 and uh, show you in detail basically what's in it if you were to buy it what you will be getting and what's updated from version point zero version 4.0 sorry uh, I have the simulator since version 3 so I will know the differences uh, from the start to finish so um first of all before I actually get into the simulator I want to show you a uh, Phoenix builder which once you update the version 5 it comes with a uh, it downloads it along with version 5 and this is basically it when you open it just get this here until you uh, go into file you can create a new model site or a scheme uh, I actually do not know how to use this yet I was on it last night trying to figure it out uh, you can come in here you click the gears and this is where you can add your uh, wing your uh, control surfaces flaps propeller all this here gear wheels you can add all these I don't know actually how to build an aircraft yet so uh but once i do i'll be able to bring you tutorials on it uh you can create a site which is just like this i know i have no clue on how to do this you can add in things import them and uh once you're done you can test it in the game and publish it online so uh yeah that's all i can tell you about this because i actually know nothing um so once i know more on that i'll be able to bring you more on it so uh, Phoenix RC, uh, the game itself, the simulator itself, in order to get version 5, if you don't already have it, you need to have version 4.0 R or S installed. Uh, version 4.0 S was the last version 4 update, so you can get that from in-game or you can go on to phoenix-sim.com, download it from there manually. Uh, once you have that, you'll be prompted in-game to uh, upgrade to version 5. So... Uh, and once you, as I says before, get version 5, Phoenix Builder comes along with the package. You don't have to get that separately. Uh, so we'll go ahead, go into the simulator, and I'll show you through the features. So uh, you open it up. There's the new launcher. As you can see, the box just popped up there. Like for a split second, that's a checking for updates. It does that automatically. Uh, as you can see here, my version 5.0J. Uh, advanced is where you can you know go into different modes, install updates, contact support, uh, etc. Um, and yeah, so this is the new launcher. So I'll go ahead now and uh, I'll show you the features. And as you can see, there's a new loading screen which is implemented in every new update, uh, checking for updates. And as you can see, immediately you are prompted with the brand new start select menu. I really like this. This is really easily accessible. You can customize it your own liking as you can see i have actually done uh here are all the new models that were added in v5 there probably is more but these are the main ones uh told on the website so now you probably have uh, more updated models but these are the ones that came with v5 uh, i'll go into those in a little more detail in a minute and um, so you can change these as you can say it's your own liking all you have to do is right click them it brings you in here you can clear the tile to empty it uh, you can select any model out of the list of, of all of them, uh, any sites or uh, options from the menu. Uh, like you can go through anything, select those, and these will pop up in these squares. So I have just arranged this to some of my favourite flying sites, the new models. Um, this top line is the default line. I haven't changed anything here. So you can uh, change your model, edit the model, change the flying site, change the weather. Set up your new transmitter, so that's what you probably want to do once you uh, get it. Well, if you had a previous version, it will have saved your uh, your data, so don't worry about that. And then your program setup. So first of all, uh, oh yeah, that's that's the main menu. That's first of all that. Uh, that's the most noticeable update. Uh, I'll go into this now, and this is the, the model editor now. This has been updated like a lot, and this is like really detailed now. Uh, you no, know, you can get into your models in a lot more detail. There's a new camera view. You don't drag it around. You just uh, click these to view the model. Uh, when you go into detailed, this has been updated a lot as well. 
and you can edit everything now in great detail so to your liking to your exact model specifications all of that can be done perfectly so um you know that's for the really advanced uh rc summer that wants to edit things uh i probably won't be with that for a while because that is really complicated um so yeah that's a new model editor that's been improved oh yeah and to open the start menu it is tab you press the tab key in the top left of your keyboard to open and close the menu or you can just use the old uh, menu across the top so after that uh so yeah these are the new models there's the eflight apprentice s15e and the difference in this and the old apprentice is this features the safe technology uh, and you can really notice it in the model as you can see i'll just show you a demonstration here it's tilting forward there and you took off it uh, is using the safe technology to keep itself level so as you can see down the bottom corner it's like all my sticks and it is rapid straighten it up see i'll go for a nose dive it go and it fixes up so yeah this is like for the real um starter like beginner in rc flying because i cannot actually fly with it it's really annoying the way it keeps leveling itself out although safe technology is like amazing in some of the helicopters and quadcopters uh so yeah that's the uh eflight apprentice s15e and then there's a hobby zone delta ray that's a little kind of flying wing model it's been added as you can see it there uh then there's the Park Zone Vision Air. As you can see here, this is actually a nice model. Oops, sorry. It's very powerful. Nice little electric model. Uh, the Blade 700X, that's been a new helicopter implemented. Uh, and my favourite, the Blade 350QX. I'll hopefully be getting one of these soon. And uh, when I do, there'll be plenty of videos on it. And I really like this model, they even added the GoPro into the texture of it, it's really nice. Um, so yeah, that's the Blade 350QX, great quadcopter and I do hope to be getting one now in the next month or two. Uh, and at last, the Hobbycone Super Cub S, and the difference in this again is the safe technology. Um, so, basically it's the same with the safe technology, you really notice it. The, what do you call it? The Blade 350QX also has the safe technology. So uh, you have all those extra features. So um, yeah, there are the new, whatever, five models added. And they're very nice little models. Uh, also, Phoenix has built from the ground up, as they have claimed on the website, the physics of all the uh, aircraft from scratch. So they started again and upgraded the physics. So, um, and that's also where they add in the SAFE and AS3X uh, technology. Um, what should I talk about next? Um, let me see. So yeah, that's the new models. You have the new, uh, go into the selection. You have the new camera view here. Now you don't actually drag around the aircraft anymore. They just give you the four options. Um, so yeah, this seems to be a little more organized in some way seen earlier there's like a new uh, tab and some of them and so and so on uh i think i have covered nearly everything uh with it it's just there's been no new uh flying sites added apart from the user created flying sites uh views are the same recorder is the same tutorial is the same competition Mul multiplayer is exact same nothing has actually changed in that there uh and yeah, there's been a new download thing here. It just shows you all your uh, download queue, uh, where you can find them all here. So it doesn't have the check for updates in game. This is just where you can come to show your uh, updates and so on. So just check. I think I actually have covered everything now. Everything that you need to know. Uh, yeah, that's it. Um, so uh, thanks for watching. I'll be bringing more uh, updates, reviews and all that in the future uh, and hopefully as it says before the, the blade 350qx uh, quadcopter will be in my hangar so uh
yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Please leave a like if this was in any way helpful and leave a comment if you have any questions. I will get back to you ASAP as I am quite active on YouTube. So uh, uh, yeah, see you next time.